so happy to have the one and only Avery Raquel back. Hi, Avery. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. Do you remember when you were here the first time? Do you remember? I do. Do you remember how much fun we had? It was a lot of fun. Remember that picture we took? Yes. Yes, I was really small. <laughs> you were really small, but now you're not? No, I'm still pretty small. You are. Small. How tall are you? <laughs> like 5'3". Five, 5'3". Three. Five, three. And you're 16 now? Yes. Were you nervous the first time you were on the show? You weren't nervous, right? No, I was just excited. You were excited? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you know anything about this show? Because <laughs> really, there's no need to be excited. <laughs> um, how's it going? It's it's going. No, come on. Tell me. Give me. Give me. Fill in the blanks. How's it going? Like, what's been going on? Uh, I've been busy with the most recent album that came out, um, which is Without a Little Rain. So that was uh, released last April. Right. And since then, we've just been songwriting, me and Greg, a lot and a lot. Oh. And so uh, we're working on the third album, and that should be all originals. The most recent one was six originals, three covers. Uh -huh. And yeah, so I'm really excited, and that one should come out in like late winter. Wow. Yeah. Hardest working girl in show business. Do you know anybody else your age that is as awesome as you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> good answer. Very Canadian. An American would have gone, no. Um, what is what is getting on your nerves now that you've been in the business this long? Is there anything that kind of gets grinding on you a little bit? Uh, well, other, other than your dad? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they're in the other room. Hi, Mom. Dad, nice to see you. Hi. Um, I think, well, I perform with a lot of different musicians, and right. they don't hear me at first. And they, they what? They, they, they don't know what they're to expect from me, I guess. And they'll look at me and they'll go, oh, she's so cute. She sings. And so... <laughs> Um, People say that to me all the time. And so, and so I'll go up and we'll do like a sound check or something. And it's like, oh, like she's legit. So it's, yeah. kind, of, it's kind of frustrating. And it's like whenever someone asks me like, oh, like, do you have a job? Because like I know a lot of my friends work at like Tim Hortons and stuff like sure, that. And they'll sure. say, oh, like, do you have a job? Like, yeah, I sing. Oh, that's cute. But but really. But, yeah. But what do you actually do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Avery, can you do a song for us? I can. What? What? Uh, what are you gonna do? Are you, are you gonna play it on the ukulele or the keyboard? Which which one? Or the backtrack? Which which, which one? Oh, um, it's your call. Whatever you want. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe let's do the track first. Let's do the track first. Yeah. Okay. Which the title track for the album. Yeah. Without a little rain. Without a little rain. Beautiful. Um, so Tim's gonna fire that up and get that baby ready, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, live on the Drew Marshall Show, our very own Avery Raquel. Love is a crazy game in love You lose and gain, but you You took away the pain This feeling, it can stay for Stop. 
Live on the Drew Marshall Show. Man, that was pretty good, eh? Thank you. <laughs> Stop it. You know I'm a creepy fan. Tim. Yes, sir. Come here, eh? Okay. Got a couple questions for you. Sure, eh? So, do you ever listen to jazz music when you're younger? Yeah, I did, eh? Because, like, I felt good when I played music. I usually play wrong notes, so it sounded okay. So, what kind, did you play, like, the trumpet, eh? Or yeah, I did, eh? Trombone? Actually, French horn. French horn beauty. Yeah, it's hard to play jazz on French horn because the embouchure is, like, really hard, eh? Yeah, and when you got your skidoo gloves on, do you hit the wrong notes? Yeah, because, you know, when they're gloves, I can't get the individual notes, right? Yeah. So, it's hard. Yeah, how about poutine? Did you ever eat that at the same time? No, because I found that the cheese would clog up my embouchure and it seems bad, eh? <laughs> You would clock up your what? My embouchure, you know, you blow the instruments, right? And sometimes when I play the French horn jazz, uh, Moose would come around and say, Hey, lady, what's your number, eh? So. You're a meathead. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim the Tool, he's here all week. No, forget it. That's enough for right yeah. How about a hand for Avery Raquel on the Drew Marshall show? Very well done, Avery. Very well done. Avery, um, how about another song? Okay. What song are we going to do now? Um. I will do one on the piano. On the piano. I just wrote this like two weeks ago. Did not. Yes. Do you need notes and stuff? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> brat, brat. <laughs> uh, do you want to set the song up? Yeah, sure. So, um, so it's going to be on the next album. And uh, there's this one song that I really enjoy by uh, an artist named Sarah Bareilles. And uh, she wrote a song called She Used to Be Mine, and it's from her new musical, Waitress. Yeah. And um, my one of my best friend's aunt is going through a hard time with cancer, uh. and so he's suffering pretty bad, too, because um, she's like a second mom to him. Okay. And so I wrote this kind of for him. Okay. Um, I'm not sure whether he knows it or not yet, oh. but, but this is technically um, for him. Can I just... I know your parents are here, but... What kind of a friend is he? Just a best friend. Okay, just checking. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I'm just going to get out of that. Co- you wanted me to ask that anyway, right, Dad? That's yeah. okay. Yeah. They, I tell them everything. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, live on the Drew Marshall Show, the one and only Avery Raquel. Lock it away 
I've lost myself Just to find my way These worries that find me to stay I'll hold on to today Sometimes we're stuck Stuck in between Who we want to be And the change we want to see Not everything we care about remains So hold on to it today Can never go back Can't go back in time When your love is placed On a thin, thin line So heavy It was bound to break No room for mistake Just take all the love, lock it away, please hold on, just hold on to today. Absolutely beautiful. Avery Raquel, what a pretty song, man. Pretty, pretty song. So you wrote that song? Yes. What What is your writing process? I know that can, like for outsiders who don't give a holy grunt about music, they don't. nobody really wants to know what the process is. We, they just want the song. <laughs> right. But I'm actually interested. Especially, and I think this is maybe judgmental of me because, you know, I'm not a fan of anybody under 30. Um, <laughs> you, uh, do you start, it's just curious how a 16-year-old, for me, would come at this versus, I don't know, a seasoned songwriter like Greg Cavanaugh. <laughs> so if you were to write a song by yourself, what comes first, music or lyrics or mood? Um, well, usually I go off of by um, songs that I really like and would like to sound like. Right. Um, so I'll listen to songs that are influences, influencers for the uh, songs that I want to write. Um, idols. Idols. Yeah, musical idols. Not like statues you have in your room that you light <laughs> candles in front of or anything. <laughs> um, there's a lot. So I started in jazz. So yeah. um, all the whole Ella Fitzgerald, Frank Sinatra, Chet Baker, Carmen McRae, Billie Holiday, Sarah Vaughan, all of them. And then like Canadian ones, Michael Buble, mm -hmm. Diana Krall. Mm -hmm. um, How about our girl that we know? Nikki Nowski? No, that we know, you and I. Oh, Lila Bialy. Yeah. Lila Bialy, of course. Um, I might actually be songwriting with her soon. Oh, oh nice. Man. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah. Yeah. But I do a lot of writing with Greg, so I'll show him the song, and then he'll give me a few chord ideas. Mm. I'll go home, and then I'll write lyrics and melody at the same time, mm -hmm. and then um, then we arrange together. So. Right, yeah. right. When was the last time you wrote a song all by yourself, alone? Actually, I haven't yet. Why don't you do? Come on. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too scared to. But uh, can I just agree with you on that? Because you do have this double-edged sword happening here. You, ha you know, everyone says, "Oh, Avery, she's so sweet. She's so she's so nice." Except your mom and dad. They've told me stories about you. <laughs> 
But you so you've got you know other people fooled, but not them. <laughs> but I think you have this. You do. You have a really um, gentle persona. I I think, <laughs> but that's only from the little I know. And I and I I wonder. I mean, we all look at you and go, "Wow!" You know, everyone's used. You're used to people saying that. Well, well, she's so amazing. <laughs> but what do you? How do you see yourself? Um. Such a heavy question. It is actually. Yeah. Um. Not really any different than anyone else, to be honest. Yeah. I just have my own thing that I do, and other people have their own things that they do. So this is just kind of my thing. I go by Avery Raquel here, mm-hmm. and then with my friends, I'm Avery Kadish. So, Got it. Um, so really, I'm just doing my hobby to them, and then this is my job here. So Yeah. yeah. Um, when was the last time you were nervous on stage? Okay, so I was doing a show in Halliburton, and um, it was a pretty decent, tur- like, there was a good turnout, and we were just starting this song, and it's a really hard song. It's called Airmail Special, and the whole thing is scatted. And so um, I was, like, fully prepared for it. Like, I was ready. We started, and then I screwed up, and so I had to, like, stop the whole band. And oh. be like, no, like, I'm starting over. Like, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but that's awesome, because it you know is. how many people don't do that, especially, like, guitar players when they have one string out, and they just go through the whole song knowing the string is out. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, so I was a little scared. I kind of felt like a deer in the headlights, though it may not have looked like it. No. But I was kind of like, oh, no. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 Um, scatting. Yeah. Uh, it's, it sounds like something hunters do when they're trying to track animals. <laughs> Give us an example of scatting. Oh, I couldn't right now. But you couldn't. Yes, you could. You looked at your keys. You looked at your keys. Oh no! I saw you look at your keys. I saw it too. <laughs> okay, tell people what it is. Okay, um, it's improvisation over uh, chord progression. Right. It's wow. Like- Right. <laughs> That's insane! And so I screwed that up in Halliburton, and oh. then I had to stop because it's hard because you don't really know your place, and so right, yeah, because it gets all scooby dooby up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what song are we doing now, Avery um, Raquel? I'm gonna pull up my uke. Oh, now I'm really excited. Wait, is this the one that I heard? Yeah. Oh. Funeral song. Your funeral song. <laughs> You're gonna just kill me. I've had a I've had a really weird and tough week. And when you pulled that ukulele out and started singing this song that makes me want to eat um, pastry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, Tim. I do. You know exactly what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, um, should you discover that I'm dead, um, go to my funeral because Avery Raquel will be performing this song at my funeral. Have a listen. close and hold me fast this magic spell you cast this is my beyond when you kiss me heaven sighs and though i close my eyes i see love beyond when you press me to your heart i'm in a world apart a world where roses bloom and when you speak angels sing from above everyday words seem to turn into love songs so give your heart and soul to me and life will always be love Il me plaît dans ses bras, il me parle tout bas. Je vois ma vie en rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour, des mots là tout le jour. Je sens me faire quelque chose. Il est entré dans mon cœur où 
n'est pas de bonne, vous n'est pas de la grosse. C'est lui pour moi, moi pour lui dans la vie. Il me l'a dit, là je pour pour la vie. Dès que je l'aperçois, je l'enlève son émoi. Thank you.